Hey guys, it is Maya, and today I'm going to be doing a kind of sort of story time, not really. It's basically just telling you guys my experience with trying out for The Voice. If you don't know what The Voice is, it's a TV show where singers come on and you have coaches that can press buttons if they want you on their team or not. It's like a big competition and it revolves around singing. I've been into singing my whole life. I'm 15 years old. I've been singing ever since I was little. It's always been a really big interest for me. I've always been interested in singing. And so I decided to try out for The Voice in Houston, Texas on January 9th on a Saturday, I believe. Yeah, that's what it was. So basically, I'm going to be telling you guys my experience with trying out for The Voice and basically what you should expect if you're going to try out for your first time and all that good stuff. I'm also going to tell you guys a little story about a really, really rude security guard that we met when we went to go try out for The Voice. So yeah. I know a couple of the audition cities are no longer available to try out in just because auditions have already happened. I know like Houston is no longer available. I know that I think um, Memphis, Tennessee, I think it is, is no longer available. I think like auditions are like January 23rd. I don't know. But I know um, some of the audition cities like Philadelphia and something like that are going to be in late February, which this video should be up before then. And maybe some people that are looking to try out next year are maybe watching this video from like a year ago. I don't know. It's basically, this can be a fun video for you to watch, even if you're not going to be trying out for The Voice. And if you are, then hopefully this is going to help you guys. So let's just hop straight into it. One more thing is that I'm sorry if you hear my brother on the controller playing his video game. It's a little noisy, but it shouldn't be too distracting throughout the video. Um, but yeah, if you're new here, then please hit the subscribe button. It will be like somewhere over here on the screen. So subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos from me. And yeah, let's just get started with the video. So I'm sure that it's not like this in all of the cities that you try out for. I'm just going to basically tell you my experience trying out in Houston, Texas. So Houston, Texas is... Um, a few hours away, um, and that's just where we traveled to. It was the most convenient for us. Um, so we traveled to Houston, Texas, and it was me and my cousin that were trying out for The Voice, and we went with my stepmom and her mom. Now, let me go ahead, and you can look this up on their, like, FAQ website or whatever, but let me go ahead and give you some of the simple rules. Basically, you need a copy of your birth certificate, and you need proof of identification, which can be... You need to be 15, so like a proof of identification can be a permit or a school ID or something like that, just proof with your picture on it that you are you. And also, if your parent parent isn't coming with you, if like your legal guardian that isn't your parent or um, they just need to show that they like are your guardian. And if it's your step parent that's coming with you, they need their marriage license. Now. One of the things about the security guard, he basically told us that we had to go through this process and stuff and he was about to not let us in because my stepmom came with me. She had her marriage license, but he was freaking out because like she didn't bring, she didn't do this like process verification stuff. So I don't know, look up that on your own terms to figure that out if you're bringing a step parent, but if you're not, then you know, the birth certificate, everything, that's all you need. So let's just hop into my experience now. For the first audition, you have to have two acapella songs, which means no bad track or anything. My two songs were Skinny Love by Birdie and When We Were Young by Adele on her new album. The first one I sang was by Adele. So yeah, those were my songs. And then a friend of my stepmom's that had previously tried out the year before said that she was in line for seven hours just because they got there on time. So I was in group B, which was 11 a.m. So we were gonna get there like early. We did not wanna get there later or anything so that we weren't in line for super long. So we got there at 9 a.m. to make sure that we were early. Let me tell you guys, longest line I've ever seen in my entire life. I was about to pass out when I saw that line. Now, Houston auditions were at the Minute Maid st Stadium, keep in mind. I'm sure most of you might know what that is. I don't know. You probably don't if you don't live anywhere in Texas or anything like that. But yeah, it was at the Minute Maid Stadium, this huge baseball stadium where the Astros... Oh, crap. <laughs> Huge baseball stadium where the Astros played, um, if you know what they are. Anyways, so my cousin's mom and my stepmom um, dropped us off in the line so we could walk to the end of the line and they could find a parking place so that it didn't, just didn't take that much longer. So me and my cousin made our way to the back of this line and there were so many people. It like wrapped around 
corners and corners and it was just so big and I was freaking out. I was like, we're gonna be here for four or five hours. We're gonna be here forever. I was freaking out. Well, we get in this line and honestly, it really wasn't that bad. Um, it was a little chilly and stuff. It, it's obviously January. It doesn't get very cold in Texas. So, I mean, it wasn't that cold, but like we were just standing in line and finally after about 30 minutes of our parents trying to find parking, cause that's how crazy it was, they met us and um, we had my little sister. She's almost a year old at the time and um, we had her stroller and stuff. So we're just waiting in line. Um, it wasn't that bad. We were in line for about two hours. There were some points where the line would move slow, somewhere it would move a little faster. So yeah, um, my little sister was kind of roaming around with my stepmom and we had some people behind us that were really friendly and were talking to us and they had like a speaker and they were playing music. Some of the people were like singing and practicing and stuff and getting critiques from other people that were auditioning. And then there was this one girl that was like walking around with her hands folded like this. Like, please God, please God, please God, please let me make it go home. And I was like, hmm. it was a little weird. I mean, she was like trying to sing. She's like, oh my God, please, please, please God, please, 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 please. Like in front of everyone just pacing around. Like she didn't care that people were watching her. Um, I mean, so yeah, that was that. <laughs> so finally, the line moves up really fast after two hours of sitting in line. It was about about two and a half hours, so it was about 11.30 at this time. And um, there's security guards walking around saying, we're only taking the people at 11, you know, all that stuff. So finally we get up and I'm getting more nervous and nervous and nervous, but it's okay. There's this other girl that's like my age that's standing behind me and we're just talking about like nervousness and stuff like this. So we finally make it up to where they're like letting us in. They have to check like your birth certificate and stuff like that. So they get my cousin in and everything and they're checking all my stuff. You know, do you have this and this and this? And so he's like, okay, is this your guardian? And um, my stepmom's like, yes, I'm her stepmom. And this huge security guard, he is so rude. And he's just like, does she have a, her, her parent with her? And she's like, you know, I'm her parent. I have my marriage license and everything that you need. And he's like, um, that's not how it goes. Um, he was, he used a very rude tone of voice. He's like, that's not how it goes. You have to go through a certification process for where, to where you can bring her. Her parent has to bring her. You're not supposed to bring her. And she was like, well, we read the website and it said that if your step parent's gonna bring you, that you need to bring your marriage license. And so I brought my marriage license. And he's like, Okay, well, you know, this is a problem. I don't know if I'm allowed to let you in or not. I don't know if she can audition or not because this is a problem. And she's like, Well, I have my marriage license. I have everything that the website told us to bring. And he's like, Okay, do you have your marriage license? She's like, Yes, I have my marriage license. And he's like, like Okay, get your marriage license. Without like yelling at her in front of everybody. And she's like, Okay. And so she you know, bends down and she gets it out of her purse and she shows it to him and he's like looking at it all skeptical and stuff and then he looks at my birth certificate to see if, you know, my dad's my dad and all this stuff and he's like, okay, we'll just, I guess I'll let you in with this. And so she's like, okay, thank you. And um, then he points to my little sister and he goes, okay, now this is a problem. Did you not read the website where it says absolutely no guests are allowed? And my stepmom was like, She's a baby, she's not even one. He was like, well, she's considered a guest and she can be a distraction. Like she's not gonna be able to go in the room with all the singers because if she starts to cry or act up, then she's going to distract everybody and that just can't happen. This is a problem. And so she's like, okay, well, I guess I'll just wait outside. I mean, I'm sorry. And you know, he lets us in and like, man, it's like, um, don't mean, you know, don't start any problems now. Cause you know, my stepmom's getting a little rude back, you know, like that's just kind of how we do things. If somebody's gonna get rude with us, you know, we're gonna, you know, we're not gonna take it. And my stepmom was like, what? I wasn't just gonna go back out to the car with her. Like we, we drove hours and hours here for her to audition. We're not, we, I was gonna put up a fight, you know, we were gonna get in this audition. So we got in and we had to go through more lines. We had to go through up a ton of escalators. They had to check our purses. I'm sure this is like this for everyone, not just in Houston. They had to check our purses. They had to check everything, you know, scan us, do that little thingy, you know, not bothered that you do. This all in all process probably took another hour to get through, which it was okay. So let me tell you guys, bring water and snacks probably because you know, you might be waiting for a while. So we finally go in and we're in this little room with this one judge 
and um, basically she called up the first person. I was in a room with 10 other people. She called up the first person, it was my cousin. So I was like, crap, I think I'm next because of my ticket. Also, when you register, you have to, um, they say, email you a ticket a week before your audition. You have to print it out and all that stuff. But yeah, they give you like wristbands and stuff. And it's a pretty cool experience. So my cousin stands up and sings, you know, she got to sing one of her songs. You know, you won't be asked to sing both of them usually, but she got to sing one of her songs. And you know, she, the judge is like, okay, you know. At first she was kind of rude and was like, you know, I've been here for a while. If I, if I want you, I know about it. And like, you know, we are just like, whatever. So then she calls me next. Of course I'm the second person and I was probably one of the most nervous people in the room. So I tell her the song that I'm singing, which was When We Were Young by Adele. And then I start to sing it. Of course, I'm really nervous, but I just, I do my best and I sing it. And I don't even get to the chorus when she stops me and says, do you have anything else? So I, um, a little, she goes, do you have anything else a little bit faster? And I was like, I have Skinny Love by Birdie, but that's a little bit of a slower song. She's like, oh yeah, you know, um, just sing that. So I sang that, didn't really even get to the chorus. And she said, you know, okay, thank you. The rest of the people singing were absolutely amazing. 10,000 times better than me, which intimidated me a little bit, but it was it was good. This one girl got asked to stay back, which if you get a call back, you either get a red card or they tell you that they'll call you by the end of the day. They asked her to stay. Me and her, though, were the only ones that were asked to sing two songs. Everyone got to sing one, well, a little bit of one song, and then they were done. But, but yeah. They just said have a nice day and we left and um, we got to meet like Maddie Davis and some dude with blonde hair. I didn't know who any of them were. My cousin was freaking out though and everybody was freaking out getting pictures. So if you do try out for The Voice, you get to meet the people on The Voice because they are actually supposed to come out to events like that. So you got you get to meet the people on The Voice and stuff like that and then, you know, we just... We left and carried on. Um, I'm trying it out again next year. I'm taking voice coaching and voice lessons and all that stuff. So um, hopefully I'll be a lot more prepared um, next year. And we're just going to try again. It was a really good learning experience and at least now I know what to expect. And yeah, I just, it was really fun too. I'm glad that I got to go and I hope that if any of you are planning on trying out for The Voice that you'll have as good of a time as I did. And just keep in mind, it's not that easy to get in like you can't set your what camera oh, sorry you can't set your standards too high for this kind of thing there were so many people there and barely anybody got picked like some people didn't even get picked out of groups of 10 sometimes it was 0 out of 10 sometimes it was 1 out of 10 sometimes it was 2 out of 10 most of the time it was only 1 or 0 out of 10 there's, it's really, it's a hard competition, but it is an amazing learning experience, and if any of you guys are looking to try it, I strongly encourage you to just do it, and you never know what's going to happen. It was really fun, and so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe got a little insight to what it might be like to try out, and I wish you the best of luck if you are going to try out, and I hope this really helped you guys out a little bit, and um... Yeah, so that's all I have to say. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, subscribe if you want to see more from me. And um, tell me in the comments below how you like this video and if this really helped you out. I hope it did and I hope you guys have an amazing day and a great time trying out if you are. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!